Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a reveal of the cabinets and shelving that we had added to the side of our fireplace. And I'm going to be telling you where I got everything from so you can hopefully find it in stores near you. And I'm also going to show you before and after shots and also the progress of building the shelves and just kind of how that went. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get started. Before I get into my built-ins and all of the stuff that I have bought to fill the shelves with, I wanted to show you like what normal life looks like for us. The toys are picked up, but I didn't want anyone to think that we don't have toys for Nathan like scattered around our house because we totally do. But in order for you guys to get the full effect of the built-ins, I'm going to move all of this so that I can show you guys how we've decorated. In addition to showing you guys the built-ins, I wanted to show you some other new things that we got. I've had this couch forever, and I've also had this couch forever, but we have changed um, the look of this room. And so we still have a black ottoman, which I'm not going to change because we haven't had it that long. This is where I keep an overflow of Nathan's toys. So I'm not going to get rid of this, and we're just going to have to deal with the fact that it doesn't match completely. But the pillows that we have here are from at home, and I just think they're gorgeous. The first one is like a ruffle pillow, and then the one behind it just has a print. And we've got two of each on this couch. And then coming over here, again, these are all from at home. The shaggy one, it's like a shaggy, fluffy pillow. It's really pretty. And the same pillow in the back that we have on the other couch. So I wanted to show those as well. And then we have had this mirror for a really long time, but it had been in our storage room because it didn't match the black theme that we had going on. And so now that it's a different scheme in here, this mirror fits perfectly. And then we have had these um, end tables the whole time we've lived here as well, but I just changed out the decorations on it as well. And I got that lamp shade and the lamp base from at home. I got this cute pumpkin since it's fall time. I got that cute pumpkin at Home Goods. And then we've had that picture frame forever, and then I always keep coasters on it. And then over here is our chair that we've also had forever, and this was from Nebraska Furniture Mart as well. Um, I bought this new um, blanket. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. I bought that at Home Goods, and I got the pillow at At Home. And then over here, again, the same end table that's on the other side. The pumpkin came from Home Goods. The digital picture frame, which I love, came from Amazon, and then the lampshade and lamp base came from at home. We also switched out the curtains in the house, and I've had these curtain rods up there the whole time we've lived here, and they're just short little ones that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond, and I absolutely love them because with this beautiful woodwork that we have above our windows, I didn't want to screw a curtain rod into those. The curtains are kind of like a canvas looking material I'm not exactly sure and they're just kind of like a beige color so I think they're really pretty and then we did still leave this picture frame here because I'm not sure if I'm going to try to spray paint it or find a different picture frame but that is a picture frame just off to the side of the living room so this is what the cabinetry looks like without all of the toys in front of it much better right Okay, we're gonna start with the left-hand side of our built-ins. And what they did is, because of the size, they decided to add three cabinets to each side of the built-ins because of the fact that like it was just too long to only have two. It would have been too wide of doors. So we have three here. And I'll just kind of show you really quickly. This one I haven't done anything with yet, but it goes back pretty deep. And there are three shelves there. I just haven't 
arranged them how I want them to be. And then this one pretty much is done. This is where I keep Nathan's diapers and wipes and like Lysol and toy wipes and all that kind of stuff. And we also over here have our DVD player. And then in here are just like some baby things. And as you can see, there's also lighting above the cabinets, which I just think is gorgeous. It like goes up into the ceiling. So these lights up here add a lot of light to the room without having the reflection on the TV. And then it also just kind of like opens up the space, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is move from top to bottom on each shelf and let you guys know where I got everything from. And unless I tell you otherwise, everything was purchased recently and so you should still be able to find it in stores near you. Starting on the top shelf, those three bases all came from Home Goods, And in the very far left one, those decorative spheres came from Hobby Lobby. The brown balls in the middle one came from At Home. And the rocks also came from At Home. And then this picture frame is from Hobby Lobby. Moving down to the next shelf, there are topiary plants surrounding the letters that spell the word home. And those plants came from At Home. The galvanized metal letters came from Hobby Lobby. On the next shelf, this picture frame came from Hobby Lobby. And unfortunately, I don't think you can still get this because I wanted to add one to another room and I couldn't even find it online. And it was also the only one in the store. So hopefully you have luck finding it if you're interested, but I can't guarantee it. If you move over here, the mirror in the middle came from At Home and the two metal end pieces came from Michaels. Moving down here to the bottom shelf, on the far left hand side is this plate that came from Hobby Lobby. And then these decorative books also came from Hobby Lobby. And then this tray came from Home Goods. The picture frame is from Hobby Lobby. The topiary is from At Home. And then I've had this um, statue forever. I got it when I found out I was pregnant and I believe I picked it up from Hallmark, but I think you can find it in different areas. So go check it out if you're interested. And then this is our Bluetooth speaker for our iPod. So that is an overview of the left-hand side. And we've had our TV mounted the whole time, so that's nothing new that we had done, but we did have Best Buy mount it for us. And then down here, I have to kind of tell you a backstory with my um, fireplace. It used to be this whole bottom portion was wood. And so the top stone was just like that, but it had this like wood trim around it and then the bottom was a wood front. And I really wanted to do stone because I thought it would be really pretty to complement this whole area. And so when the guys came out to measure, the stone guys came out to measure, they measured wrong. And this hearth stone was supposed to stick out past the bottom stones, but they measured wrong. And in order to fix the problem, I'd have to have my carpenters come out and push back the frame of the bottom stone and then all the stone would have to be ripped out and replaced and frankly I did not want to do that so I don't think it looks terrible but it definitely isn't how it was supposed to be so that's kind of a disappointment but anyway moving on this is a gas fireplace and the switches for it are right back here inside the cabinet I think you can see it there and so that's how you turn it on um, I got this, um, the pokers and stuff for a fireplace, obviously we don't need them since it's a gas fireplace, but just for decor, and this came from Hobby Lobby years ago, so I don't know if they still sell this or not, but obviously you could find something similar. This decorative plant came from At Home. Moving over here, this is what the right hand shelves look like, and again I'm going to start from top to bottom. On the very top shelf, those boxwood topiaries came from At Home. On the next shelf, the dome platter came from Home Goods, and the decorative spheres came in that pack that I was telling you about from Hobby Lobby. The pedestal picture frame is from Michaels. The family sign is from Home Goods. The vase is also from Home Goods, and again, those decorative spheres were in that pack from Hobby Lobby and the picture frame is from Hobby Lobby. On the next shelf, that picture frame is from Home Goods, and the galvanized candle holder is from Hobby Lobby. 
And then on the bottom hand shelf here, we have the lamp base and the lamp shade. Those both came from at home. Everything in this galvanized tray is from Hobby Lobby. The clock is from Michaels. And then the plant is from Home Goods, but I've had that for a few years. I just wasn't sure where to put it. So I'm not sure if you can still find that in stores, but check it out. So here's an overview of those shelves. That is my built-in shelves. If you have any questions about anything or need a reminder about where stuff is from, either you can rewatch the video or you can leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. But I'm so happy with how the living room turned out. I think it's gorgeous. It really completes my home. And I'm so glad that we decided to add these built-ins. I wanted to let you guys know that Custom Cabinets and More is who did the shelving and cabinets for this project. And I'm going to link their information down below. And then Cannon Stone is who did the stone work around my fireplace. And I'll also link their information below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. That would really mean a lot to me. And if you guys wanna see any videos like this in the future of either a home tour or a room decoration video, let me know in the comments below and I'll go ahead and get that up for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.